Hello, my name is Angel Nodal, and I worked on some stuff on the Overdose Milestone. Uh, the first thing that I worked on was the metrics level. I did the standing with no movement and jumping dash distance, which is four blocks, four cubes, and each cube is 10 units, which makes it a total of 40 units, uh, which is also the same as when jumping. As you can see, we landed on the same space. The same goes to the sludge floor. As you can see, the sludge floor makes player character more slow. Uh, so when we stand up here and we end, it's also four cubes, which makes four units. And when we're done with the metrics level, we can go into the main one. Um, on the main one, I worked on a couple of things. Um, I worked on the landmines that you're going to see in a little bit. Is when the player interacts with these or an enemy, uh, it launches them back, taking 20% of their health. I also worked on these green diamonds, that when the player collects them, uh, it adds one to the counter and also um, heals the player completely. The goal of the game is to collect all diamonds on the level. to collect all diamonds on the level and when all diamonds are collected uh, the end gate will appear And as you can see, the end gate opens, and here would be the teleporter for level 2 uh, that we still haven't managed to make. Also, over this level, I worked on the death animation and on this point of it that when the player jumps in, it takes the best damage, and over time, it kills the player. As you can see, uh, it takes a couple. It takes a couple of seconds for the player to completely die. Uh, and when the player death dies, the death animation is played. The death crane appears, and the player will be respawned on the last checkpoint that he appeared. And that was all the features that I worked on. Uh, Thank you so much.